Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel, Dale Chanel's Great World, where we have our... Family affair, our family as our co host. I'll see who we're going to talk about. <laughs> Star Queen Elizabeth is gone, but she is still raining on those people over there, okay? In Great Britain. Sha, sha, sha. And they don't pick the favorite. Yes, Law, if Kate didn't know, she know now who the queen admired and who the we really said, you know, she is good. She's a good person. She's come from good stock. And we're going to treat her like royalty. And we talking about Kate Middleton. We ain't talking about uh, Meghan Markle. <laughs> no. And Meghan can't even look like she, uh, what do you call it, mourning, really. But yes, honey, those are the three powerful women. One of them is gone, the one in the center. Well, let's show us there. Then you got Camille, then you got Kate. They're going to run that shit over there. And they are going to run that shit. All right. We get an article by the, uh, by the name of Radar Online. They brought us out an exclusive story. Yes, that they broke out themselves. And Whitney Vasquez uh, typed it up and put it on the uh, social media platform so we all can take part of it. Okay. Her title to her article, she says, uh, she's the family favorite. Grieving Kate Middleton wears Queen Elizabeth's earrings in tribute as she set to, get this y'all, inherit late monarchy's $110 million jewelry collection. Can you say a k k ching Can you say that? Miss Elizabeth II, okay, left a jewelry worth. A hundred and ten million, not to Megan, but to Kate. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Kate is just getting slapped in the face. I mean, uh, Megan is just getting slapped in the face here and there and everywhere. I don't even see why she even try anymore, okay? But we're going to get into this story. She, it says Kate Middleton played, <clears throat> paid a subtle tribute to Queen Elizabeth by wearing a pair of the late monarchist earrings to receive her coffin at Buckingham Palace. The sweet gesture comes on the heels of RadarsOnline.com exclusive story that Middleton will likely inherit the Queen's 110 million jewelry collection, while Meghan Markle should expect nothing of value. <laughs> ah, the hits just keep on coming for that woman. The hits just keep on coming for Harry's wife. All the negativity. Even his dad say he hope they are faring well over here in North America. <laughs> because they ain't got nothing for Megan over them. Do you hear me? Going back to the article. It says the new Princess of Wales, a title bestowed on Middleton by her father-in-law, King Charles III, the spotted flashing Queen Elizabeth's gorgeous pearl and diamond earrings as she joined her husband. Prince William and his family, including Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, on Tuesday evening. Okay. Yes, let me clear up some of this stuff. Okay, the priceless earrings were allegedly gifted to Middleton by Her Majesty. Sources revealed to a RadarOnline.com that Prince William's wife is the family favorite, something the Queen took note of when she began plotting to update her wheel before her death. She's been focusing on her beloved pieces and who deserves what. A palace insider told us in July, the whispers are that she made a small last minute changes 
to her will that would be shocking, would be a shocking surprise for her heirs. We're told Middleton is likely to reap benefits, a decision that's expected to ruffle some royal feathers, okay? But I can say, she totally transformed herself from being an Americanized woman in the Western American world that we know into British royalty. She knew what it took. She knew what she needed to do to main a neutral point uh, in the family and the heirs that will be coming. What kind of insurance she had <laughs> to secure that? Okay, yeah, we got it good. We moving on. Kate is clearly the family favorite. An insider spilled to RadarOnline.com, adding the more the move will likely trigger Camilla, the new queen consort, Megan, and the lady's significant others. The queen's personal collection includes 300 pieces of jewelry, and many family members are expecting or expected to get the royal shaft. Shaft? There's a very good chance the queen won't leave either of them any jewels of value. The source will be referring to Megan uh, and her daughter Lilibeth. It's not surprising since they're not members of the royal family anymore. The insider continued, but it would be a real slap in the face. Now you tell me, Daddy, it's going to be a slap in the face. I'm like, come on, Grandma. You mean to tell me just because you have ill feelings towards Megan and what she tried to do, what she tried to become, and make a mockery of the royal court, you mean you ain't going to leave the granddaughter in the fine? Now, if that happens, then Miss Elizabeth needed to uh, check herself. Her Lord going to check her anyway. But you're going to leave stuff for the kids of William. You ain't going to leave nothing for the kids of Harry. And you got a chance to hang around the babies. What, were you fake loving them or something? That's just piss poor right there. You don't want to get into the mama. You damn sure should have gave something to the kids. As a remembrance. Because they were too young to even know who you were, how you got down, and how you left this world. They wouldn't know. The stories that have to be told to them about you. But that's piss poor for me. If you did that, that's really piss poor that you would let the kids suffer for what their mother did and, and, and uh, said about you. That's piss poor. But anyway, moving back to the article. It says, if the queen does indeed cut the Duchess of Sussex out, some people think it won't be out of spite for practicality. RadarOnline.com is told that others say it would be the Queen sending a message to Meghan and Harry, you reap what you sow. But it has nothing to, in my eyes, it has nothing to do with practicality. Just because her grandson wanted another life outside of the royalty family should not have been their choice. And nobody should have been saying anything about it. Just because they were born in royalty, don't make it necessarily that they want to live their life as kings and queens, or prince and princesses. You know what I'm saying? So, it's for our queen. If you did that, it's for But going on back, it says, Queen Elizabeth died at Balmoral Castle on Thursday at the age of 96. She was Britain's longest reigning monarch, ruling 15 countries in the Commonwealth for 70 years. That's right, because Charles... King Charles got it. He don't like it. He don't like. It. He said, "I wanted to hire. I wanted to have this role when I got fifty years old." Shit, I had to live twenty more years for you. You still ain't going nowhere. Yes, honey. Charles is mad over there. <laughs> he want his retirement to be just that: retired from all practicalities or rules, regulations, and anything the court want to bring to his face and tell him. He don't want none of that. Now he's like thrust into the a role and he's feeling kind of salty about it. But that's all I got for this video, guys. I ain't got no more. She's just showing how people can still be mean on their deathbed. You know? Instead of them like, okay, I'm the queen. I can do whatever I want to do. And I'm on my deathbed. This is what I want to happen. Make sure it happens, people. 
But uh, yeah, it, it, that was that was sent a very strong signal that Queen did not care a thing about Meghan Markle if that were to have happened, where um, Kate Middleton gets a hundred million dollar prize. Ah, please. Heads are gonna roll over there, boy, when that come down. Cause you know, hey, there's some other people that we need to sign for Camilla. Like, wait, wait, wait a minute now, your son is the king. Now I'm the queen. Are you not gonna leave me nothing? No, hell no, Prince. I ain't leaving you. You nothing either. Cause you had an affair with Charles when he was married to Diana, and that scandal. Ooh, child. Everybody liked themselves from Diana. She just had that air about herself. You know what I'm saying? Where it was just likability. She couldn't do no wrong. And the queen didn't like that. Mm -mm, queen didn't like She didn't want nobody loving on nobody but her. I really do believe the queen was a little jealous. I, I really do. But to tell you the truth, um, the queen, she was, she was very beautiful when she was young. I can say that. Yes, she was. But I think Diana reminded her of all that she wasn't anymore. You know what I'm saying? The beauty that she alluded and, and, and made it all the heads turn. You know, how they say, bring my milk to the yard. Bring her, my milkshake brings other boys to the yard. My milkshake better than yours. You know what I'm talking about, Talisa. Yeah, and I think she was just uh, being a little jealous of. So. Diane's, Diane's looks and a figure and all like that. And she knew she once had and hold a figure like that to, to bring her the boys to the yard. You know what I'm saying? Her milk she can bring the boys to the yard. But, you know, as we get older, you know, we lose, lose some of our uh, luster or our vitamins. Oh, what the hell? I don't know what I was trying to say. But anyway, our radiance, I think that's what I was trying to say. And you don't look too... You know, like, ooh, I got to be with that person. Ooh, she's so fine. Ooh, she's so good. She lost that luster. So, that's why I really think she didn't like Diane. It wasn't other shit. So, Diane was just a smooth talker, and she was a smooth dresser. She knew what she wanted. But they tried to break her, too. They tried to break her. Because it was going to be only one person looking cute. Only one person getting the compliments. That was the queen herself. And she gonna make sure that her head was gonna roll. You hear what I'm saying? They gonna roll, roll on down that uh court aisle. <laughs> that's what I got decapitated. But anyway, that's all I got for this article. I ain't got no more, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Oh, and make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Now come on now, subscribe and like, subscribe and like on this channel as well as the other one. You know, make it make sense. I know y'all done been over there because I'm growing over there too. I am growing. I thank y'all. I thank y'all so very much. Okay, but that's all we got. We'll end this video. Five, four, three, two, one. Gotta go.